Hi and welcome back to another random walkies video. It's currently 31 degrees Celsius, feels like 34. 3.44, uh, no, 4.44 p.m. Friday the 15th of March 2024. Currently at the corner of Edith and Ibis Street, where super cheap autos on that side and repcos on this side. So we're up to part three of random walkies. I was going to just do them on a Sunday, but because of the weather, we got a little bit of sun, so I thought I'd take advantage of it while we can. I'm your host, Brad, and welcome to Best of Science Reborn. I'm going down Ibis Street at the moment. So have a bit of a look, and we'll go around and see where we decide to go. Probably go over the bridge to along the walking track to maybe to Kmart. And then down back down Glady Street to Edith Street. We'll see how we go. So here's this used to be this used to be highway tires. When it was first built. So it's got the still got the highway tires colouring. And that yeah, I like to show a lot of detail. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe if you feel like you want to donate to the channel. Feel free via the PayPal link in the description or via the super thanks button, which is the love part with the dollar sign in it on YouTube. Check that out. This doesn't look very safe. See, there's a lot of broken bits on this. Yeah, so we won't be walking on that. But anyway, yeah, feel free to check out old and new winners file photos on Facebook. For a lot of photos and links to videos and all that i don't think i've ever walked on this footpath here so I'll go along here if you hear that that's my distance from when i started my walk at home not the distance during the video so it's up to now okay so what we do in situations like this to protect people's privacy is we um just walk for, with the camera facing straight ahead. We don't turn and show people's places. There's Emu Street through there. If we do, it's just to show things like Emu Street. A little street down here. Like I said, we show as much detail as we can. Whatever shows to the side, you get to see. Like what I'm showing straight ahead here now. It becomes Tramway Street, when it turns, just up here where you can see these arrows. Yeah. So I'm coming. So they're going to pull in over here. No, they're just going around. Okay, so we've got it's a little bit shady in certain spots. Be careful if you walk along here. This old Tostra pit's broken. You could fall through it if you are to walk along here. So that was Ibis Street. We'll look back where we just came from in a sec. The slower you do it, the better the camera seems to handle it. Let's try my street. Now, if I need to zoom in on anything, I've only got two times zoom on this camera. So this is Ibis Housing Project, Johnson Shire Council. I've never shown that before. Warren Pitt, MP. Okay, I've never seen that before. 2004. There you go, I won't show people's residences, of course, but show the, um, the plaque, which I should have got a photo of. But sometimes it's hard to do both at the same time. So we'll go down this little pathway here, which takes us to the bike track, walking track, that goes from Kookaburra close through to near Kmart. And the Lily Street and all that as well. But I don't think some of the residents like people walking through here, but it is a public pathway. Just this part here. I don't think they like until you get down here because it goes beside their places. And that. So there's towards Cookaburra Close, that direction. Down there. The O Lantern. And back to where we just came from. Straight ahead. Now I was talking to a friend of mine the other day about 
this railway bridge that used to be here. You can see the pylons. The old pylons a little bit down there. I don't know if they show up on video, but in reality I can see them in person. So there used to be a train bridge through there before this was ever put here for all this. This is how you used to get across on this walk. It used to be a, like a dirt track to it. Now you walk across there because they hadn't used that railway bridge as a railway bridge for years. So you could walk across it. So there was that back in the day. Which was good until they did all this. This is much better, but it just needs to be looked after more, cleaned up regularly. Even like leaf blown and all that, because when it rains, it just gets terrible through here. And mosquitoes, whoa. Because they used to have this, all this along here was all done up with really nice gardens at one stage. Yeah, really, really nice, and then they just let it go overgrown. Yeah, it used to be lovely to walk through here. It's nice and shadowy here, though, shade. Lots of shade in that. I'll give it that to walk along. But there's parts back where the bridge is uh, where it can be a little bit bit dangerous when it's wet. It's a bit slippery. So we're on episode or part or whatever three of the random walkies. Like I said, I was going to do them just on the Sundays, these particular ones. But with um, all the rain, I thought I'd take advantage of the sunny days. It's been way too hot to come out other times during the week. So I've been putting it off a bit. But I thought oh, I'll get it because they say there's going to be rain, rain on the weekend from that cyclone up in the Gulf. And that, which is supposed to be heading to oh, the potential cyclone. It's supposed to be heading to the Northern Territory direction. So we won't get it, but we'll get the rain. Unless it changes. Things can happen and it can change. Originally I was going to turn just here and go down, go down Gladys Street. Charles Street, man. I mean, then go across in front of KFC and along and then go up Gladys Street, back down this direction. Well, uh, but then I thought, well, no, nah, I'll continue up to Kmart direction. Well, there's the laundromat, and as far the laundry has got written on it. Used to be Sud Sisters or something back in the day. And there's down Charles Street towards KFC. And that. But we'll continue along here. See how we go. There's just quite often there's people that park up here. I don't know why, but quite often there's either a ute or a four wheel drive or something. I have seen a camp in through here, a homeless camp in the past. So I don't know if it's still here. There was one at Loth Park as well. There's Lily Street. We'll see if we can see the sign. The controversial is it double L or is it one L? This is Lily Street. Let's have a look. We'll show it on here. I think it's 1L. I've always put it as 2Ls on videos, but I think it might be 1L because there's not many signs for it. And it, for years on Google Maps, it said with 2Ls, but it actually says here L-I-L-Y Street. I don't know if you can read it, but yeah, there used to be a house here on the corner. It's been taken away, I don't know. If, What's going to go there? Maybe something to do with the um, laundromat? I don't know. Anyway, we're going to continue along where we were going. Pass this forward drive and such and go out near um, the Kmart and go around. Might go down, down Gladys Street all the way down to Edith. See how we feel. I'm trying to show some things that people really wouldn't. wouldn't have, yeah, you know, a lot of people wouldn't have walked down here. They wouldn't have come down here. They have no, have no need to come down here, which is fair enough. So it's somewhere that would be good to show because we don't show the people's houses. It'd be nice to be able to, but for privacy, you don't due to the, you know, 
back of being able to see these places and what they were like years later, looking back and all that. Like people are like dumping their lawn clippings and stuff over here, but they're not meant to. There should be signs up. What people do. Like when you go up that hill past Radiant Life School and uh, through the rainforest part, people dump their rubbish in there, their um, green waste and that. I think that's what's happening here. Oh well, it's not up to me. But it's been cleaned up. I think the person's cleaning it up. I think the guy who lives here, across from here, tends to do it up sometimes, which is good. Gives it up, looks nicer. Put in stuff around the trees. Makes it look a bit nicer. <sighs> Come up hey, how you going? Yeah, it's just cleaning up. Is it a doggy? Ah, oh, good on him. It looks nice. Yeah. It's all the right thing. It's something council should be doing regularly. Hello, doggy. Hello, mate. No, no. Yep, you're not a friendly doggy. I'll talk to you anyway. You've got a huge fence. <laughs> yeah. This came out. It's your council works department over there. Well, we're not going to go that way. We've shown that way hundreds no, no. of times. But we are going to go this way. You can see the high fence there. To my left, where the dog is. <coughs> Luckily, that fence is there, or I wouldn't be walking down here, ever, even the back way, where we just were, where we saw that chappy. Ah, oh, good on him for doing that. He watches the video, pat on the back, getting in and cleaning that up. It's good to see people taking pride in their community, in their area where they live. You know. That is a deep bark. That is a dog you would not want to mess with. There's your random trolley support group over there. Three trolleys. I think they've ostracized the Woolworths trolley. It's just a little joke I put into some of these videos of the random trolleys around. Alrighty then. Continue along here. We're going to go all the way down. Nobody knows. Where will I show up next time for a video? Nobody knows. Do I know yet? No. Work it out for the next video. If it's not raining on Sunday, I might do another one Sunday. We'll see. It's only a couple of days away. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. Hopefully you can see the sky well enough in the video. See how nice it is. It's place on the corner of Lily and Grady Street's been being done up for a fair while now. I think a business is going in there. He's been counting in there for years, or oh, for a while there. I won't say his name, I know who it was. But you can see they've put like a um, ramp and all that there, unless there's someone lives there and needs the ramp. I'm not sure. But because it's been done up and that, we'll show it a little bit. Just can't go overboard. Yeah, let's change colour. Let's change colour a couple of times since I started doing it up. Wait for this vehicle to go past. There's your Innisfail Tojo, Tojo's spares and mechanic, mechanical repairs. So if you have a look for that, stand there. Turn, turn it to BP and go down. A lot of people ask on Facebook where that is. Some people mention it on other groups and that. Where that one is? Well, it's right there. So, nice people. It's good to support local businesses. Especially the ones that aren't chains, but people say, oh, I don't support the chain places like Kmart and this and that, Harvey Norman. But the problem is, those places, they employ locals. Like your Woolworths, your Coles, your Harley Norman, your Kmart, McDonald's, all those places. 
they hire local people. And a lot of people will go crazy over it. Oh no, you shouldn't. Shouldn't be going to those places that are super cheap and all that that are all over Australia and wherever. But, you know, sometimes they're a local franchise owner. So the money's to, some of the money stays local or, you know, people own these places. This is the old Centrelink, which is Memu now. It was built for Centrelink. And this one was Alan's Pool for a long time. Now it's Mums and Bubs and that. The Memu. But um, yeah, a lot of people I've heard over the years really complain that, that these businesses and that come into town. Well, think about it in the sense for there's So there's jobs for locals that come out of it. A lot of people get their first start in in working at places like Kmart and McDonald's and all that. It gives them a, a step up. That's great that there's these sort of places around. Your Bunnings and all that too. Yeah. So think twice before you people carry on about all that stuff because you know just. But no, to my right is Bunnings, to my left is Burton all their parts and the Black Marlin Motel. There's someone standing outside there, so I didn't show across there. It used to be... It was built for planes video. And there was Civic Video, Video 2000. I can't remember in what order of that. And then Workways was in there. Now it's Bunnings. We'll go through the car park here. Yeah. Show a little bit to Chemex on the side. And that, as much as we can. You always got to respect people's privacy when you're doing these videos. But we'll show over here while these people walk past back where we just came from. They can't see their faces or so across here, at Bunnings, to my right, but here's Chemex. And it's all Chemex, so we'll pull supply stuff and that. And then you bus stop. So if you have a look in the, for the bus stop to Cairns and the bus stop to Townsville, this is where you go. It's on the Bruce Highway slash Eater Street. Uh, on the other side is the way to Townsville on this side. The Cairns way. And people have wondered and said over the years where wondering where um where Roscoe's Pizza is now. Well it's right here. Next to this AIDA care. It moved from across from the works department, across from Clare Street to across from Hungry Jack's. So if you find Hungry Jack's, look across and you've got Roscoe's. Roscoe's Pizza, an Italian restaurant. Very popular place. you got your Hungry Jack's here. Then you've got your butchery, Harvey Norman. So on the other side of the road, Masala Bite, which is Indian, Indian food. Then the Aquarium and Bird Center which sells more than just aquariums and birds. So, never know why they called it that. And there's Bunnings, the sideways to Bunnings. Taking you along here. The nice of all this concrete was ripped up and put in all the new stuff. More uniform design would be great. But yeah, you still got your PMG there. And your FNQEB on that one. Old school. We'll try and jump properly on this next one. There's someone in the car just near it. I think you be Far North Queensland Electricity Board as it was. Where Kayla's vet used to be in Poochie's. It's right here. And the street news was up here. Where there's up there. <coughs> where the great flavor of India is now. Yeah, where this one is. Oh, there's an Uber Eats vehicle. 
from Monday to Saturday. I'm just trying to read the sign. They put up sign. See? So, there's been a sort of food stations in there too. It's part of it. Don't show the sign. Kind of kebabs. Salads, wraps, sandwiches. Just showing what they got more to show what was here at the time, what sort of food they had. When you're looking back 20 years from now. No, it's not a sponsored video. Opening hours. 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Don't know how well this shows up on the video. Random little alleyway through there. You can see where windows had been closed in through there. You can see like window ledges. I can. There's your tobacco in it, sadly. Mine of six. The town's got now. Better at cafe where Pizza House used to be. There was a bike store there for a while. Been a few different things. Kevin got in the build, let's have his thing there for a while too. Offices. They do a pretty good hot chips in there, in that bedrock. This old bedrock used to be down here. Here's Vinny's, which used to be CES back in the day. Who remembers this to CES? Put it in the comments. No F plus today, cash only. Be closed by now. Yeah, we're closed. They always have pretty good displays in the windows here, but the reflections always makes it hard to see. Mm. Easter. There's been his. Just to do with the Catholic Church. And that, which is fine. That's where uh, Bedrock used to be. Um, and the printing place there. Tony, he's moved out to 180 Edith Street, across from the mobile 24 hour. If you're looking for looking for his business, and where Bedrock and where Lee's Fruit Market used to be way back, is a name from the past, which if you watch my videos, you would have heard of. Where the Easter Flats used to be over here, and uh, the house. Yeah, it's really opened up this. It'd be interesting to see it all flattened out properly and get something built on there. People talk about KFC going there, but I don't know. It's one of those things we'll have to wait and see. The corner of Lily and Ernest Street. BP. We've been on Ernest Street since we turned near Roscoe's there. I forgot to mention it. There's Crown Hotel. I know I've shown a lot of this plenty of times, but has been updates, things happening. Crown Hotel. Straighten the camera up. Sometimes it goes a little wonky, does its own thing. Back down Ernest Street, where we just came from. There's someone walking this direction, so I didn't say too much. You always got to consider people's privacy, their manners and that. Okay, we're just going to go down where those flats used to be, next to the Crown Hotel in Lily Street. Next to Westbury's, it was owned by Westbury's till they sold it. Some people say they were there, been around for like 80 years. Yeah, 8 zero. used to be a brothel back in the day. It's well known that it used to be for like soldiers and different people back in the day. <laughs> There's Heyman's Electrical on the other corner there. Mundara Motel. There's a pretty bad intersection to cross at times, so be careful if you come along here because people like to cut you off. And then they'll start yelling out at you, even though you've got the green, green go ahead, like the green little man there, saying you can go. They like to um, yeah, get quite angry. My mum and I have no, have put up with that over the years. 
Oh, we call one of them Mr. Wagfinger when we talk about it. He was going right off, wagging his finger at us, shaking his fist, and even though we weren't doing anything wrong, oh, they've started doing a bit more here. Looks like they've taken up some of the pathers. It all needs to be done up full on. And that, uh, frustrating, this car's right in the way. But there is a car park there, so. Construction site did not enter, or I wasn't planning to. But they're already doing stuff there, putting in a driveway. And that, the road base for a driveway. The excavator in there. Of course, they're not working at this hour, but it shows. There's these little parts along here that used to be old houses. You can tell by the look of them. I'll show them quickly. No way past, just so that I've got that for history. Take a couple of photos because we've got to have the thumbnail on that as well. Like we always do. The camera likes to go a bit wonky when I do that. Zoom out a bit. There we go, that should do. But yeah, we'll show this through here, like we do. And see where the driveway and all that's happening. I wonder if it's going to be more car parking, like people say, for the um, Crown Hotel. It's one of those things, we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, sorry about my nose playing up. I have nasal spray that works when it wants to. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Most of the time it does. So you notice that it's nowhere near as bad as it used to be for me doing these videos. Okay, so we're on Lily Street, like I said. There's your Westbury's there. Who remembers this being an old dance studio, this one here? I don't know if this was the Graham Academy of Dance, I forget, it's so long ago since it was a dance studio. No, that there was an accountant here for a while, and it was the last one in there with an accountant. Hmm. And the one on the corner was Roll Two Dice when I was in high school. They started that, it didn't last long. The people used to do it out of their house over east, and then they moved into here. And that. Got the senior citizens over here, senior sits hall and the town pool behind it. But, three of Lily Street, L-I-L-Y. This one here, the one that used to be rolled two dice. Might be a name people rec recognize. If they do, let me know in the comments. If you've got any photos of it, it's that. Um, uh, feel free to post them on old and new and as well photos on Facebook. One thing with the Facebook group, make sure you accept the rules and all that because Facebook will delete the, um, yeah, they'll delete the request. I won't get to see it. In a small food emporium that used to be Central Arcade, and at one stage was Central Markets. Being this hour. What is it now? 5.19, oh, 5.13. Yeah. There'll be probably a few people in the arcade if we walk through. So I'll shot across the other side. The Joss house. Taxi rank. Oh. And it's hot. Price busters. Price buses on our way past. The full video about that. And of the old business that was there. And that. So we're in the Soul Food Emporium. Well, we won't show straight ahead because there's people, of course, until they go. You can go straight ahead. You can see, see how full on this building is, how huge it is. Only for a town this size, it's 
pretty awesome having this full building. I just wish it was heavily air conditioned. They walk in like, whoa, that's nice. You know, after being out in the heat and that. Oh, no one's covered up my little thing here. They usually cover that up. They were quite cruel with that, covering it up. Hey, how you going? Of course, we usually walk through slower. There's a lot of people around, as I expected at this hour. Okay. Nice yarn along. That thing. Oh, continue up here and go down. Go down Rankin Street. Go to Wishmaster. He's a real Wishmaster. Okay, we're back again. Wow. Yeah, I had an issue with my eyes, so I had to stop. Now we're back. Issue's still there, but we'll continue on. I'm mostly on. Post office. We've shown all this thousands of times. So it's hard for me to find locations that I haven't shown that I can actually get to. Everything else is just too far for me to walk. And that, uh, and this boiling heat makes it even worse. So we're sort of walking in sun direction now where the sun is. So, a little frustrating, but that's the way it goes. That will show through. Through the main street, all the way down to maybe Jack's sort of way. Old Art Deco building across there where Scott's Flourish used to be. No PSM's in there now. Where Scott's used to be. This way, it's your target medical health, where target used to be. Country target, target country, as people, people like to call it different things. Bite me takeaway, Rothney's Pharmacy to my left. That's quite sunny. Well, we don't get in here as often in video, so we might just mosey on down here. The old White Horse Hotel there. Back down the main street, Peter Street. Where K Town Shoes used to be. There's people around the corner. Maybe them going off. Sundown Family Dental, Sol Patents and Chemists to my right, Suncorp, Rivers, down to the Rising Sun there. K 
show you what come out. Who remembers this is Angie's Angie's Sewing Centre back in the day. Yeah, Angie's Sewing Centre. Remember it as that. This is Terry White Kalana Pharmacy. Yeah, it's weird how they sort of both in one. Oh, we might cross over, back over. I don't know, I'm just trying to show in parts that I haven't shown as often or where there's been changes. All right, there's your premises. While my eye plays up. Premises over there. Yeah, Bob Catter. Where the soup kitchen used to be in the basement, over there. And like the soup kitchen used to be run by Innisfail COC, Christian Outreach Centre, and then they changed their name to Harvest Church. Now they're in Power Church, but they don't have it there anymore. Some other church had stuff in there at one stage too. It used to be the underground restaurant, down under or whatever. Down under that one, yeah. There was a few other places over the years. I remember there being a bike store back here. There was a bike store back there. The Innisfail Family Health used to be, which become Target Medical Centre, and then moved to there. Anyway, Chandler's music. I'll be all the music used to be, that's right, Chandler's was in here as well. The medical centre used to be. And you got Bendigo Bank here, which I remember as originally Northern Permanent, and then First Australian, and Bendigo Bank where Max Coffee Lounge used to be, which was a gift shop for a while there. Now yeah, work workplace place. I remember a cheap t-shirt shop being down here somewhere. Yep, and the music shop up here. It was up here back in the day. Which your gum loon, still very popular. Seems to be, it's still open. They're open now, so. Showing what we can. It's a horrible, horrible hour of the day to be walking this direction. Sun directly in your eyes. Uh, you got Carl's across here, Seapoy Corner, all that. Where else will we show? Well, I can. Will my eyes go crazy completely? <sighs> Back through town. As much as we can. Do I say we can show what we can while we can? Due to so many people being around. No. Carl's car park. Okay. Might continue to earn a street. See how we go. A little bit. Usually, quite often where there's places I want to show, people sitting around, I wanted to show their Carl's back dock, loading dock and all that, so people can look back years later and see it, but there's all the people sitting there, a few busted up trolleys over there, okay yeah, you got Innisfail Hardware up here. Street up there, coming up, the one going across. Where that white car's going across. Oh, no, they're going into Ernest Street. Send link across there, Services Australia, in other words.
Prices plus. Rear hucks on Ford and Frontier Ford used to be. Johnson River Transport had their stuff there. Some of their stuff there for a while too. Before that building was even there. Seen photos of it. So up towards the Catholic Church, Catholic School, all that. Our cane growers. See the shy hall there. Yeah.